Hey, Dr. Kian here, back in South Carolina, here in Conover Wellness Clinic with Dr. Craig Conover. He's an expert in integrative and regenerative medicine. Welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. So we've talked about uh, the regenerative technologies of stem cells, PRP, and exosomes, yep. but I know people in this field work with peptides yeah. as well. What exactly are peptides? It's a good question. It's confusing for people. So peptides are literally chains of amino acids. Mm -hmm. So they're put together in different you know, formulas, so to speak. Um, and we're trying to do that to get them to do certain things. The majority of them are injectable. So the patient will inject themselves with this peptide. What's really nice about peptides is virtually no side effects. Virtually none that we've actually ever seen. So we use them in a variety of ways. The most common ones we use, I think, are the growth hormone releasing peptides. Okay. So this would be things such as ipamorelin, GHRP6, GHRP2, um, which is helping your body, your brain, specifically your pituitary, put out more growth hormone. As we get older, we, we decline how we can put out growth hormone. Growth hormone, you know, up there in terms of the most anabolic hormone, meaning mm -hmm. the most healing, uh, rejuvenative, the most mending healing. So getting more growth hormone in your world is really supportive. We, use, we treat a lot of athletes, so people like it. They can do a hard workout, mm -hmm. come back the next day and keep doing that hard workout. So you really are kind of advanced or amplified in how you repair your tissue. So that's probably number one. Um, we use another one called BPC-157, mm -hmm. which is very anti-inflammatory. Works really well if people had a traumatic brain injury, they've got tendonitis in their elbow, something going on with their knee, they can inject it systemically and it calms down that inflammation. BPC-157 also great for the gut, helps to heal the gut lining. Lots of people have leaky gut, mm -hmm. digestive issues, works really well there. We use it after stem cells again to calm down inflammation. So that's another one. We use two more cognitive peptides that came out of Russia. One's mm -hmm. called C-Max uh, and the other's called Selank, they're cousins. Okay. C-Max was developed, actually they use it a lot in Russia for people after having a stroke and it helps increase BDNF levels in the brain. Mm -hmm. kind of BDNF is brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is like miracle growth for the yeah, brain. Exactly, yeah. kind of the juice that the neurons mm -hmm. need. So again, people do that. Then we have people alternate that with Selenc. Selenc's a cousin of CMAX that taps into the GABA system, helps with anxiety. You know, most people have some form of anxiety. Mm -hmm. So we alternate those, and uh, people feel really honed in, kind of, you know, cognitively very sharp, mm -hmm. works really well together. C-Max and Selenc, um, so what we do is we alternate those. C-Max helps people kind of repair their nervous system. Selenc helps with anxiety, also really good for people with addiction issues, helps to kind of help them get off medicine, helps them get off of any addictive substance, helps them sleep better. So we're going to try one called Folistatin, mm -hmm. which uh, works like a myostatin inhibitor, helps with muscle growth, burning fat. That's a really good one. Um, we use one called GHK-Copper, which grew up in the, the wound healing field. Mm -hmm. um, it helps, you can use that, again, we use that after cosmetic procedures sometimes, or sometimes people just use it annually as kind of a, you know, anti-aging molecule. There's another one like that called Epitalin, uh, which also people use once or twice a year. Seems to increase telomere length, um, so people are excited about that. So a lot of different modalities, mm -hmm. a lot of different ways to use peptides. What I really like about them, super, super safe. Virtually no side effects. What people don't like about them is they're injectable, although an insulin needle, not a big sure. deal. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are twice a day. Um, some are once a day, so it's not terribly you know, difficult to administer. Yes. Where does somebody find a doctor in their community that, that does this stuff? It's a really good question. <laughs> yeah. um, I, used I had to, to fly to South Carolina. <laughs> I used to refer people to, there's an organization called ACAM. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it stands for Advanced, American College for the Advancement in Medicine, ACAM.org, where a lot of like-minded physicians are members. Um, we can sign on search for physicians. Uh, a for M mm -hmm. is an anti-aging group, mm -hmm. um, but it's hard. I mean, it's hard. Most doctors are more pharmaceutically uh, oriented and have that mindset of the only way to get better is through drugs. Yeah, um, which is you know we we disagree with. Yeah. We think there's many other tools mm -hmm. in the toolbox. Um, so it's a challenge. I think uh, it's a growing field, and it's wonderful that you know, you're embracing it mm -hmm. um, because I think the more people open up to 
yeah, there's a time and place for medicine, pharmaceuticals, but there's plenty of other tools that we can use that have been time tested over thousands and thousands of years. Um, it's gonna get better for everyone. And before we go, where can people find you online? Easiest place, um, keep it simple, on Instagram, at Conover Wellness, and then online, ConoverWellness.com. All right, thanks for your time. Thank you.